In this video, we'll take a look at six of the most popular 4 and 6 tools, Bin Walk, Bulk Extractor, HashDeep, Magic Rescue, and Scroungen TFS Tool and ImageCat Tool. These tools can be used to recover data from a variety of sources, including hard drives, memory cards, and even network traffic. The first is BinWalk. BinWalk is a versatile tool that can be used to extract files from firmware images, memory dumps, and other binary files. It can also be used to identify and analyze file formats. To use BinWalk, simply point it at the file you want to analyze. BinWalk will then scan the file for known file formats and extract any files it finds. You can also use BinWalk to identify unknown file formats. The second tool is Bulk Extractor. Bulk Extractor is a tool that can be used to extract files from a variety of archive formats. Including ZIP, RAR, and TAR, it can also be used to extract files from encrypted archives. To use Bulk Extractor, simply add the archive files you want to extract to the Bulk Extractor window. Bulk Extractor will then scan the archive files for files and extract them. You can also use Bulk Extractor to extract files from encrypted archives by providing the password for the archive. Third tool is HashDeep. HashDeep is a tool that can be used to calculate and verify hashes of files. It supports a variety of hash algorithms, including MD5, SHA1, and SHA-56. To use HashDeep, Simply add the file you want to hash to the HashDeep window. HashDeep will then calculate the hash of the file and display it in the window. You can also use HashDeep to verify the hash of a file by providing the hash value that you know to be correct. Fourth tool is Scroungen TFS Tool. Scroungen TFS Tool is a tool that can be used to recover data from NTFS partitions. It can also be used to recover data from NTFS partitions that have been damaged or corrupted. To use Scroungen TFS tool, simply add the NTFS partition you want to recover data from to the Scroungen TFS tool window. Scroungen TFS tool will then scan the partition for data and attempt to recover it. Fifth tool is Magic Rescue. Magic Rescue is a tool that can be used to recover data from damaged hard drives. It can also be used to recover data from hard drives that have been formatted or reformatted. To use Magic Rescue, simply add the hard drive you want to recover data from to the Magic Rescue window. Magic Rescue will then scan the hard drive for data and attempt to recover it. The sixth tool is an Image Cat tool. The ImageCat tool gives the output content of an image file. The image files recovered will have metadata and embedded data, which allows you to convert it into raw data. This raw data helps in piping the output to calculate MD5 hash. These are just six of the many 4 NSIC tools that are available. Each of these tools has its own strengths and weaknesses. So, it's important to choose the right tool for the job. Once you've become more comfortable with 4 NSIC tools, you can explore other options such as HashDeep, Magic Rescue, and Scroungen TFS tool. These tools offer more advanced features and can be used to recover data from more complex sources. I hope this video has given you a better understanding of some of the most popular 4 NSIC tools available.